Hey folks, it's Frithgar here. How you doing? Welcome back to our crazy farming simulator series. I have turned it into just kind of like a little bit of a, a, a nature-y kind of bit here in the corner there and the same over on this side. So we won't worry about plowing those up and this machine right here uh, will actually see I do still have a bit of work that I need to do this one like we've got well it's all grass in these fields whether or not I want to hmm okay we won't worry about doing any more plowing with this one today uh, we've done lots and lots and lots and lots of plowing so I think we could probably take a break from doing any more for a minute I'll take this one back and then we can go back up to our seed drill we've got a bit of planting that we need to do the important thing that we will need to remember is just get that one in there if it will fit um we've got to make sure that we get our crops planted in right we've got quite a bit of grass that needs to be planted up there but it's not like the end of the world if we don't do all the grass straight away so i'm kind of thinking that we should focus a bit on the crops first so let me bring you back over this way. The grass doesn't have any fertilizer being applied with it. But the grass is going to be planted pretty quickly. So I think I'm going to start I'm going to start on the grass just for a bit. Right, we've got plenty of time at the moment and so I could do like a field or two and then we can and I don't even need to actually start this one up. We just go like this with a whoosh and then we've got our other field so we want what have we said we're going to want sugar beet well we want all of the oil crops we need all of the oil crops that's the important part that we've got to do i'll get the grass planted in as tight to the edges here as i can right, we didn't do all of the edges on this bit but that's absolutely fine all of this is going to be grass and then eventually we're going to be using some much bigger mowers to do all of our stuff in here. So it's kind of, it doesn't matter if we're going right into the hedgerows and everything like that. Um, I think it's just going to be a little bit more interesting for us if we've got the um, hedgerow still in here. Now obviously if I decide a bit later on that I'm getting a bit bored with doing it like this and... It would actually be faster and more efficient and just all around better if I didn't have it like this. Well, then we'll make a switch and we can turn it all into one great big grass field and we can just do it like that. And if we've got just one great big grass field to do the whole lot with, then the advantage of doing it like that is that then we can Let me just bring you down here. I don't want to be going over because I'm not sure if this is a direct drill or not. I'm sure if I made that alteration. Let's find out. Okay, it is direct drill capabilities. Um, one thing, uh, yeah, I, I might decide that, well, actually, yeah, we'll just go with uh, using um, one huge great big field because then what I'd be able to do is I could have the hired help going along and doing the grass jobs with one huge great big field like we're not going to have the hired help doing very much if we've got a small field here it's, it's just not going to work is it so let's let's be honest with that it's just not going to be a thing um so yeah we we, we kind of got that to decide on as well but for now we will do it like this because i quite like this we've got the hedgerows we've got the trees and yes, the trees do get in the way of the camera every so often, but honestly, I don't think it's going to matter. So that's the outside round of that field done. So now I can go whizzing through and do the rest. And as you can see, it is coming along very, very nicely. We can get through this lovely and quickly. This is why I like doing this. I mean, yes, I, I've sort of gotten used to the width of it and the speed of it and everything now. So it's not quite the same um, surprise as to just how insane this is. But it's still pretty insane. And I do like this one. The only problem with this sea drill is that we can't really use it with hired help. Right? It just doesn't work. But that other one that I've now got for the arable stuff, that's one that we can use. 
we did have the like we've got the absolutely massive stuff that I've used previously and there is the possibility that we could reuse some of that but I'm not sure how well we will do with trying to get it around on this map because yes I do want to try and move some of the bigger stuff around on the map the challenge of the, like the logistical challenge of moving some of that stuff is going to be interesting but I don't want it to kind of like be the main focus of everything that we're doing. My main goal here is to have cows. Lots and lots and lots and lots and lots and lots of cows. So everything else is just kind of going to work towards that. I thought there was a little spot that... Oh, there it is. There. Right. Caught it. And that is the end of this field, which is about the biggest field that we got. So now we want to go in here and we'll do these three little ones that we've got. There's this one down here. We had a little bit up the other end, wasn't it? There, there was some chickens or something up there. Um, come in all around here and make sure that we get everything that was around the edges of that one. Like this field here, it's, it's like once around the field and we're done. There it is. It, it's now finished. Once around and then a little mop-up piece down through the center. And that field is completely finished. And then we can move on to the next one. I like this. This is really cool. And there's the chicken bit. That was over there. So I'm going to go into this field next. And we'll run our way around this one. It's a bit rough there on that field. There's, there's some un very, very uneven spots in this one. Just bring you on around there. See, I thought maybe the sea drill was giving us a visual glitch. But it's not because the other sea drill did the same. So maybe it is just what this map has got it set at, in which case, okay. I still think it looks a bit odd, but, you know, we'll run with it. Um, or maybe it's something to do with the imminent update that is coming in, but I don't think I've updated any mods or anything, so that shouldn't happen, and I haven't run the update on the game yet. And we do have a big update coming with the um, expansion with all the vegetables and everything. I'm not sure if this map is going to be updated ready for that. Um, updating this map could be interesting because of the thing, the changes and stuff I've already made on it. So we will keep that in mind. Now there was this bit here, I remember now. Yeah, we had, so that goes through there. Basically, I'm replanting grass, so this bit here, it looks like it's just not going to change, but that bit there is going to come up with grass. Um, I mean, I own all of this. It says it needs plowing. Let's have a look around and see what we can do with selling anything in here. Um, yeah, we've got a needs plowing bit in here. I don't like it when it says needs plowing. I'm thinking that that piece is. I'm gonna. Oops. I don't need to do that. I need to do that. Right. I'm thinking that this bit here, hide cow feeder with H. That's the object hider. Yes. So I'll get rid of that one. The rest of this area doesn't need to change but I'm thinking that I would like to bring the plow up here and just kind of like plow up this line down through here so I'll do that and then we can plant and remove the hedge so I do actually need to go and get the plow that we brought all the way back down here because I thought I was finished with it and we'll run this one back up to the top wedging myself in between the buildings and well I'm gonna need to plow both here and up there let me run this one up to the top a second. I want to do... I like Because I, I want to do the grass and get that, like, done now, I think. Like, I've nearly done it all, so we'll, we'll carry on with that. And now my tractor is completely wedged in here. And if I can get that bit done, then we've got, like, all, all of the grass is then finished. Like, that that's the grass taken care of, and we don't actually need to go planting that again. We won't need to go back over it again. Like, once it's done, it's done. Of course, the big question is whether or not I can actually get the plough into the field up here. Because, like, the gates don't all have collision on them. But this plough is definitely wider than the gateway. So we're going to have to do this a slightly different way. Uh, to very carefully 
throw it over the hedge. Just like that. I love being able to do stuff like this. Right, it doesn't fit through there, so we'll just pick up this tractor, which is... There's a weight thing. Nine total. We got 6.9 tons, but total is nine tons. We'll just pick up nine tons there and toss it over the hedge as though it doesn't matter in the slightest. Because why not? Right, we've removed that fence and it will come down over here and there should be a thing come up. We, there we go. Hide the object. That O on there and that is what's built into the map. I'm not using the object hider for this bit. Um, there's very few bits that we actually need to use the external object hider. We're just using the options in the map to hide objects which is really really cool. My admiration for the person that built this map has gone up by a like a, a, I yeah it is just amazing. The person who built this map has done an absolutely fantastic job. It is incredible. It really is. I absolutely love this map. There is one little bit that I'm going to do right here purely because I can see it and it is going to bug me if I don't. I'm going to do this. I'm going to go to landscaping. I'm going to go to plants. I'm going to take the valley spring grass option right there. Why does it default to the square? Who uses the square when they're painting down grass and stuff? Go on, put your hands up. Who is it? Who is the cause of us having to put up with that? Um, I'm going to plant grass along here so that I have that. And then that bit there should just... That should be fine. Um, I want to just get rid of some of these that are like right back into the corner that I won't actually reach with the plough. Because I don't like all of the... Uh, I don't like too many shrubs, like, leaning over the edges. It, it, it feels wrong. Okay, that'll do there. And now I will take this one and I will set the allow create field. And then I will come up here. So you can see I'm already allowing creating fields up through the side there. And then... In here, I have gone way too tight into there. That wasn't actually what I was planning to do. But now that I've done it, we're going to live with it. So we will run along here. Now, I do actually need to plow all of this because it's got the needs plowing bit on it. And I'm doing this very, very wrong. But it's fine. It's absolutely fine. We can live with it. Because it's all going to be grass up here. And I'm not actually going to be doing anything different up on this bit. Other than grass the whole time. It's not going to matter if I'm making it slightly wrong compared to... like it go, Well, wrong. Uh, going out too far on the edges. Because that's the bit that I... That's what I'm doing here. I'm going out too far on those edges. Is going to make the field look bad. If Well, if I was doing crops, it would make the field look awful. Um, and I wouldn't like it. But because it's going to be grass, the grass will grow. And we've already got grass, like, right out on the edges anyway. And then the mower that I'm going to eventually be using, even if I don't use it to start with, is one that will go a long way out. And it's probably going to be trimming the verge on the other side of the road over there when we go round. So it's not going to make any difference whatsoever. Um... But I do want to plow this bit up so that I get rid of the needs plowing status on here. Now, I have heard from a few people that needs plowing doesn't affect grass yields. And this has been tested a few times. And it always seems to come back that needs plowing does not affect grass yields. However, there is this big red strip, this, well, blob on the corner of this particular field... Uh, that says needs plowing and I don't like it. I don't like to see it there It's something that just irritates me to the very core of my soul Whenever I look at the map and I see needs plowing so that's why I'm going along getting rid of it Because we want to get rid of this so we're not actually going to keep any animals up here either So it doesn't really matter in the slightest um, We've gotten rid of the animal pen already. I'll turn off the needs plowing right there. Let's have a look There we go looking a lot better so we will go and fill that bit in. 
I think that bit is to do with the rolling. Needs roll. Yeah, it needs rolling. Um, that's what's coming up on there. And... Right. You, Mr. Plowman. Where are we going to put you? You're a, a little bit of a jolly nuisance. Because I can't get you out of here unless I chuck you over the hedge. So let's do that a minute. Hmm. That didn't work very well, did it? Let's, let's try that again. Go. Fly, my pretty. Fly. Ha <laughs> ha. Right. That one is out and over here. There is a road that way that I can go through. Or we can try and get through this gateway again. Oh, there we go. So one side of the gateway has collision. The other side appears to not have collision. There's a big dip in the field right here. I'm going to go out on a limb here and say that that there where the tractor is is a bit of a wet spot in the field. That is going to be the spot where you're going to bog down if the field isn't fully dry. Just just a hunch, that's all. Right, that's that be done. Now we can carry on with planting our grass. We go right round here into the fresh part. And up through. So we can, of course, go and spread fertilizer over everything that we've done. And we could, in order to maximize yields. But I've been kind of wondering about that. Like, if I don't go and put fertilizer down, it means that I think we end up with, like, a 60% yield overall compared to what we could get. Which, obviously, is it's not great. Like there's definitely you, you want more than that but at the same time it does mean that it would save us a huge amount of time not having to go through and fertilize the grass fields every time that we cut them and I'm kind of thinking that that might be a good thing like there's a lot of time that can be spent doing the grass fields and getting them uh, fertilized and if we don't worry about doing the actual fertilizer bit I just think that would be so much better yes I absolutely do not need to go and plant these grass fields down here but I'm gonna do it anyway just because I think it's going to speed things up and it doesn't matter if I go over onto the other side because that bit is um, still to be planted and we have a direct drill that will go over and plant everything and there's a couple of little bits that we did reach through the hedge and plant uh, and plow and I know that I haven't planted all of them yet so I figured if I go through like this the seed drill and just very quickly get all of the grass then all of the grass has been taken care of and that's what I'd like if I can do all of the grass, then when I go back through and I do more cutting and stuff, because from this point on, I'm not going to worry about making hay out in the field. We did do that a little bit, but I don't actually want to do that because it takes too long and we end up getting bored of it. So all we're going to want to do is we want a mower that leaves it swathed and then we can go through and we can pick it up and we can bring it back to the yard. And that, I think, I mean how we bring it back we could bring it back either with bales just bale it up as grass and then bring it back or we could uh, use forage wagon you know that remains to be seen and we have got both options i'm gonna close this gate because i love that we've got rusty gates i really do like how many farms have you been on where every single gate across the entire farm is brand spanking new i've never been one like, I've never found a farm where every single gate is brand spanking new. There's always some gates that are a bit rusty. Like, always, 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 always. It's just a thing. And here we have a strip all the way along here. There's... I missed that field. How do I get into that field? Oh, there's a gate up over there. Right. Well, I missed that one. I think it would be prudent if we were to make ourselves a gateway to go through here. I'm going to do that. All right, just one hedgerow piece taken out here. Because, yes, it, I can go through there. But I feel that 
one other point to get from this field up into the next field would actually be a good thing. Um, it's something that I probably would like if, if, if this was my farm in real life the gateway up through there if I was having all of this as grass fields and I needed to be able to sort of easily be, get between many of them an extra gateway between this bit here and up the top would not be a bad thing at all like that would be quite helpful just because that way you're not having to travel through certain fields in order to get to others every single time sometimes it's more convenient to get to one that's a little bit closer we have got another gate out onto the road here so we'll close that one like that and the reason that I want to do that is because in real life if you have gates out onto the road you will close them all right, you, those are the ones you keep closed. Even if you keep a lot of other gates open in your, like, across the farm, the ones that go out onto the road, at least for me in the farms that I've worked on, those are the ones that we keep close. Like, you, there are some that just stay open and stay open so long that they just kind of rust into the hedge. And, yeah, that, that does happen. But the ones that go out onto the road, you keep those closed because otherwise you have people coming in. And you don't want that. You don't want someone one day just randomly driving into your field. It's a little bit inconvenient, to say the least. Now, the only bit of grass planting that I've got is the bit that is already fully planted. But as I've done everything else, I want to go and finish this off. Just in case you see the very edges of our grass planting here, where it sort of changes the texture slightly. I want to change... I want to do this because just in case that there's a little tiny strip there that doesn't have seed like it's basically been cultivated up and it hasn't had the new seed put down so just in case it's doing that i want to do this run through here like this and this is the very last of it so this seed drill is probably not one that we're going to be using very much pick that one up I'll bring it back we'll put it back in the yard and the other plants that I need now need all right I said that I needed we need the three oil plants so we need canola sunflowers and soybeans those are the important ones so the sunflowers and the soybeans will be next month I'm gonna want some potatoes and I'm gonna want some sugar beet and then I also want barley and uh, canola I'm leaving oats and corn this time round Although, thinking about it, we've got so much land here. We might actually do some of that as well. So I was going to do, like, potatoes on the long one. I wanted a lot of potatoes because we've got our potato factory, so we may as well use it. And then that was going to be sunflowers at the back. And this one here, uh, what was I thinking? Beans in there. Sunflowers and beans for next month and potato. We'll do all of that next month, I think. We'll do the potatoes next month as well. Even though we can plant them now, we'll leave them a little bit longer. Uh, stagger it a little bit sugar beet we will go and plant and i've planted some wheat i also want to plant a bit of barley which will be over here in some of these fields we've got them yeah right i clearly had right of way there because i was bigger than the person coming out and that is what decides your right of way. So I'm I'm quite offended that they drove into me there. I, I I'm I was definitely in the right, and they were definitely in the wrong. And anyone who argues with me on that point is is clearly in the wrong as well. That's just how it works. Let me bring you back here. I kind of like the idea of doing more baling, but using a modified baler. I like this hitch though. I gotta be honest, I really do like the hitch on this one. I think this hitch is absolutely magnificent. So there's a very good chance that I'm going to use that baler, but I will catify it. Rather than using a different baler. Um, and then we could use a baler for a little while. We have a small baler that we tried out that was kind of alright, but uh, I feel like it needs a, a, a few alterations on it in order to make it work a little bit better. Um, Baylor, I think, will be probably a better option. Right, sugar beet. Let's go and put some sugar beet in. 
I just had a thought. I can do barley, oat, canola, soybeans, sorghum, oilseed radish, and grass. I can't do sugar beet with this machine. Soybean, right. That's a bit of a jolly nuisance. Which means I need a different machine, and I don't have one that I have given my special treatment to. We need a planter. I'm going to have to find a standard Stevie one, because I don't have any alternatives right now. Uh, what have we got? Problem with planters is that they're, they seem a little bit more odd. Like, a lot of them do. You just can't put very much stuff into them and things like that. Now, here is a classic Stevie that has been given everything. So it's going to be the, whatever the width of the machine is, which is, you know, I'm, I'm quite happy with that. Uh, there's another one there that's been edited by Stevie. And Stevie normally puts out two versions of them. He's, he's released a load more packs. He's got a YouTube channel now. And so you can go to his YouTube channel to get it. I can't remember what it's called, though. Um... And, yeah, you, you have these, and some of them are fast, and some of them are a bit slower. So, I actually quite like this idea. This one here is a 12-meter wide one. I actually want it a bit narrower than that, just to start off with. So, it's 89,500, but it's faster, and it's more capacity, which, by my my rules, I normally increase the price. And this one will plant everything. That's That's kind of what I'm looking for. Let's go with that one. Because we can, like, this is going to be a bit more interesting trying to get in around everything. Um, and, yeah, so this is a good jumping off point, I think. We'll go to 36. The capacity is standard at the moment with 3,000 litres. We can go up to, well, there's one extension option. So it puts us to 8,000 litres. Colours, we've got the Stevie up. we got the full Stevie range on here. I love the Stevie range. It's, it's absolutely glorious. Um, I like green. The problem with a metallic green is it's never bright enough. I would like one that is sort of this kind of brightness but metallic, and you never seem to get it. Like, there's a, a crone yellow. That's John Deere green there, but that's not metallic. John Deere green too. And as soon as it goes to metallic, it goes much darker. It's like Christmas decorations. These metallic colours are like... Um, some of the older Christmas decorations that I remember from when I was a boy. I used to love them. I used to love the bright colours, the Christmas decorations. I used to think they were amazing. Oh, it stays white. Okay, so we've got a main colour and then we've got it as white. All right, you know what? Let's, um, if it's got to be white, what are we going to have? I'm just going to go black and white with pink wheels, I think. We'll just do that and... Not going to buy this one. I'm just going to lease it because this is not going to be. Unfortunately, folks, that is all we have got time for today. A massive thank you to everybody who has earned their way into the Great Book of Names. To find out some more details about all the names coming past, please head into the description and click on the link to the Discord. It's a link to another video. The link is on the other video. Uh, please also consider checking out the links there for Nitrado, who provide gaming servers for games like Farming Simulator, Minecraft, Ark, and several others. And there's also Fanatical, who will help support your gaming habit by providing you with cheap games and also giving me a small commission on anything that you buy using my link. Uh, if you've enjoyed this particular video, then please head down below and give us a like. And if you really enjoyed it, then please tell your friends all about me. Get them to come and watch as well. That would be awesome. And until next time, thank you very much for watching. This is Frithgar. Goodbye, and see you later.